New Socket police are asking residents to check their surveillance cameras after roughly 50 vehicles were vandalized overnight. It happened in neighborhoods across the city and even a home was vandalized. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitt spoke to several people left to deal with the headache. She joins us now from Woonsocket. Many in Woonsocket woke up to find their streets looking like this. Piles and piles of glass, their car windows shattered. Woonsocket police believe it was someone with a pellet or a BB gun who's to blame. I was like, I think your window is smashed. The window was completely shattered. Glass all inside my car. I mean, to wake up to that in the first thing in the morning, it's just not a great way to start your day. Many did start their day this way Thursday after Woonsocket police say someone went street by street shooting BBs or pellets through 50 car windows. It's just why? What was the purpose? That's the question on the minds of residents like Megan St. Ange. This is the... Um, window that they smashed out my fiance's car. It wasn't just her fiance's car. Her nephew's newly detailed car was hit too. If it was just for fun, there's other things you can do for fun. The culprits police say wreaked havoc on the vehicles between 11 p.m. Wednesday and 2 a.m. Thursday. Drivers now left to hope their insurance covers the fix or foot the bill themselves. That's going to be probably like 200 something dollars and we're trying to save up for our wedding in October. So yeah, it's going to be great. I headed down to my car. Chris Wyman lives a few streets over and thought his eyes were fooling him. I looked closer and that's what I saw. He was on his way to work and had to call out. I was thinking it was somebody broke into my car, tried to take something. But the culprits didn't steal anything, just left many with headaches. I have a son and I have a fiance who live in Franklin. And because of this, I don't get to go see them today. Just grow up. There's no need to do that. Get a life. Residents with surveillance videos are asked to check their footage between 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. Anyone with any information is urged to contact Woonsocket police. In Woonsocket, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.